Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have to share something with you. I've kind of been holding on to this for a while because um, I've just been lazy I guess. I haven't um, <laughs> been doing as much recording as I should be so um, I'm trying to catch up now. Um, what I'm going to share with you are two D-Stash orders um, that I got probably back in, sometime in September, maybe early October. Or one or the other. And um, they're both from the same person. Um, my pal Devin. I think I I have been funding all her wax purchases lately. Because I just buy every single little thing that she posts online. Um, let me just fix this. I'm sorry. I feel like we're a little lopsided here. But I can't fix it. I don't know what to do. Anyways, let me just get into it. Um... Uh, let me go to the first one. I still have them in their original bags. Um, so, what she did, this is some bubble tape here, which is so freaking nice of her, was she sent me some freebies. Um, she knew, what's this here? She knew that I really wanted to, um, try a couple things so as a freebie she sent me some cubes of poltergeist from super tarts oh, this smells amazing I don't remember the scent notes but it's very like um minty it's a nice cool scent I and mean, I think there might be some bakery in there I don't know And she sent me a couple cubes of Casper from Super Tarts. Oh my gosh, that is good. That is amazing. I think this has like Mexican fried ice cream and some other stuff. <laughs> that smells phenomenal. And say hi. Hi. Also, um, I made a comment on one of her videos about... Her um, loaf that she got from Dessa's in sweater weather season. So I see this little taped up note in the bag. I'm like, what is this? And she sent me some chunks from her loaf, which is awesome. I love sweater weather. Which is so good. And oh my gosh, this has been sitting next, in, just in the box. I'm sorry, in the bag, like next to my um, husband's side of the bed, just waiting to get put away because I haven't recorded and the scent has just developed so nicely. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm huffing. I really, I find that, um, I'm really liking stuff with eucalyptus in it lately. Um, as a kid, I used to hate it. My mom used to make these, like, I don't remember what they're called, like, swags or some shit. And they were made out of eucalyptus branches and then, you know, decorated with other flowers and bows and whatever whatnot and I used to hate the smell but I I don't know I guess as we get older our tastes change as well as our noses oh another freebie she said see I'm, I'm, I haven't even gotten into the order uh the d-stash yet she sent me um Wilma's marshmallow fireside marshmallow fireside I'm sorry I um I'm speaking a little weirdly because I tend to grind my teeth at night and um, at some point I must have like pinched uh, a piece of my tongue and it's like really irritated all the way towards like the back of my tongue so I'm speaking a little funny. And this smells so freaking good. Oops, marshmallow fireside. Oh, that is nice. We were actually sitting um, at the fire pit last night in our backyard. It's kind of chilly out, but oof, once you get that fire roaring, it is warm. Yeah, let me just pull everything out because it's going to be easier. Okay, so I only got a few things in this first package so I wanted to try alien she had one posted for sale apple apple cider and vanilla bean donuts 
it's really nice. I love the scent of this. Um, look at the back. I never noticed the green, the green stuff in there. Alien slime, maybe. Um, really, really good. The only um, concern I have is that a lot of people are complaining that it's really, really light on throw. So, I mean, we'll see. If anything, I'll put it in the bathroom or whatnot. And Mr. Myers, I was dying to get my hands on one of these. And I'm not going to go on the website and place an order and pay $7 shipping for like one item. So I saw Devin had this posted and I got it. Fresh Fallen Leaves, Fireside, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I love this set. I feel like this can be an all-year set. And I might hoard this just in my bedroom. I might not <laughs> share. Oh my gosh, this is so good. The last thing in that order was from Up the Creek, a bag of brittle and strawberry shortcake salty sea air. I was running low on um, bathroom scents. And this smells so good. Oh my gosh. I was a little skeptical when I first got it or when I saw it, but I bought it anyway because I need to expand my nasal horizons or whatever. And I really like the scent. The strawberry is sweet and tart. There's no like bakery note to this, or at least I don't pick it up. And the salty sea air is nice and crisp in there, so... I can finally start melting some of it since I am posting this video. All right, I'm just going to, the next one is kind of big. It's a lot of stuff in the back, so I'm just going to pull out and whatever I grab is what I grab. So from Dessa's uh, Homespun Goodness, I have no idea what the scent description is for this, but I love Dessa's and um I don't, I don't really know what I'm picking up. Almost, almost something citrus, like a zest. Anyways, so there's that. Golden Willow Waxes Immortentia, which is Love Spell and Sparkling Limoncello. Oh, that's so good. That's going in my bedroom. Another Dessa's and Pumpkin Butter Bake. I know it's kind of late for me to getting, be getting all this fall wax, but scent-wise, it is my favorite. I love holiday wax, um, like the peppermints and the Vanilla Bean Noel and the Marshmallow Firesides and stuff like that. But I find like winter scents to be very heavy on pine and balsam and you know scents like that and I just can't do it anything earthy not earthy I don't want to say earthy anything that smells like grass anything that smells like trees it just I can't do it I like woodsy scents though which is strange or and leaves but I think there's some type of connection in my brain with like all my all I have horrendous allergies and um when I smell grass well you know I'm allergic to cut grass when I smell it it makes me gag same thing with pine trees it's not as bad with the pine it's just not a scent that I really like and I mean what else can you say I, mean, I just don't like it Okay, so the next thing I pulled out of the bag is a sample from Sassy Girl Aroma's Cranberry Joy Body Shop type. I've never smelled the Body Shop um, Cranberry Joy, but this is nice. This is good. Nice tart cranberry. I like, I like cranberry scents. A lot of people don't like them, but I do. So, of course, she posted Marshmallow Fireside, and I grabbed it up. 
because why not, right? Cranberry orange cake from Dessa's. Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. Mmm. It's almost like a warm spiced scent. Um, that cranberry orange is delightful. Also from Wilma's, now called uh, that small good shop, is donut holes. I love bakery scents if you don't know. Ooh, that is... Oh, sorry. I I breathed in kind of deeply there. Um, that is nice. It smells kind of like um you know like the pumpkin donut munchkins you get from Dunkin' Donuts around this time and they have like that glaze on it. That's what this smells like. And now, I don't think there's anything pumpkin in here. No, it's the cinnamon sprinkled donut holes. It must be the cinnamon, the spice that I'm getting way more than the bakery note um did i order this the late rabbit chloe and me oh blueberry cotton candy yes i did this is good look at that how look at how freaking cute this is i've never ordered from chloe and me but i'd really like to because her stuff is themed and it's freaking phenomenal. It's a little pocket watch for the rabbit. There's like four or five of them in here. That's good. I like blueberry. I like cotton candy. You can't really go wrong with that. Um, from Kim Rian's, there's uh, vanilla wafers, strawberry jam, and vanilla be Noel type. This is parasol. As you can see, it's it's quite soft. Poured in August, so it should be ready to go. Um, kind of light, but I just think that's all the the vanilla ness. It's a it's a creamy, slightly fruity strawberry scent. <clears throat> strawberry jam, also from Kim Kimberly Ann's. This is um, these are just paraffin. Oh, strawberry jam toast. I'm sorry. So these hold up much nicer. It smells good. I mean, with paraffin, it is hard to get an accurate um, impression based off cold sniff because paraffin does tend to change as it's warm. Again, we, I got some more clams from Soup Tarts and Countess, pistachio and chai sugar milk. When I first opened this and sniffed it, I got, um, I, I don't know, I don't smell much of anything. It is really nice though. If you don't watch American Horror Story, Countess is, uh, she's a vampire. So, hence the holes in the blood. And she's played by Lady Gaga, whom I love. I don't know. I'm not getting a very deep, um, very strong scent from this. I get more um, the chai sugar milk than I do pistachio. But I do pick up the pistachio. And it is a true to form actual pistachio out of the shell. That's what I'm getting. I don't like that. Well, I do sometimes. That pistachio that almost has like a cherry note to it. Which is not a pistachio scent to me. It's a cherry scent. Um, I got Super Tarts Red Rum. Which is... Oh my gosh, my hand's shaking. Combining a delicious pumpkin pecan waffle with creamy butterscotch and sweet butter brickle. Oh, 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 that's so good. That is so, so good. See, I've just started ordering from Super Tarts this year, like not too long ago this year. Maybe I would say in the past six months. Whoops, and I dropped it. 
So a lot of these I have never smelled before. Uh, just three more things and I'll be out of your hair. So from Scoopable Tart Wax, I got Oso oh Jelly for French Toast. I'm just dropping everything. Another one, it's kind of light. I'm not getting much on it. I don't want to dig my finger in there, though, to kind of activate the oils. Let me rub it. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so I think that's a strawberry jelly or jam with the, um, it's not really a bready note, but you do get some type of bakery with the French toast. Why is that not okay? Um, pumpkin cream cheese French toast. This you definitely get the, um, French toast scent and that pumpkin um the cream cheese is nice it's not a sour scent which I appreciate and last but not least I apologize if I'm all over the freaking place in this video I'm just trying to get it done out of the way um streusel kuchen streusel kuchen <laughs> I know I I know I butchered the hell out of this, but it, I don't know what the name means. Is it like German or Dutch? Mm, I don't know what's in it. I probably could have looked it up somewhere on the Rose Girls or Scoopable Tart Wax um, website, but yeah, we're talking about me. I'm easy. I just kind of, I don't I know, I'm not lazy. What it is is that I have, I find myself sitting with nothing to do for a couple minutes and I'm like, oh, let me go grab this and do this really quick without, you know, any preparation, without anything. So I just run up to my room. I go grab the shit. I bring it down and I start recording and then I sound like a mad woman. But this is good. I like this. Strusel, strusel, kuchen, kuchen, strusel, kuchen, kuchen whatever that's good nice um it smells like there's cinnamon in there but it's like a bakery type set so these are um this is everything i got from devin in the two orders and i do have another box coming <laughs> soon sorry i'm using like this cell phone holder thing as a tripod on top of a box and a case of dominoes. It's hilarious. I gotta order a tripod. I saw them on Google Prime. I can have in like two days, but I just don't know why I haven't done it. But thank you guys for dealing with my batshit craziness. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I'm so surprised I even have you know, a 60 subscribers I checked today and I'm just like, wow, like people actually watch me like my ramblings and scatterbrainness and whatever. And I, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, so until next time, talk to you again. Bye bye.